Hello everybody, I'm Ivor Abbott. Today is a big day for Mazda Racing Equipment. You guys know I have been using the R9 wheelbase and the RS steering wheel on the channel. Big thank you to Mazda Racing for sending these out. But today we're going to talk about their new wheel, their new budget wheel, their entry level wheel, their new CS steering wheel. This is their entry level wheel. Compared to their RS steering wheel, this wheel does retail around 260 270 bucks, so it's fairly cheaper than coming in with the RS steering wheel. So we're going to take a look and unbox this new CS wheel. Big thank you to them for sending it out. First thing I would like to make to note to you guys that this is a pre-production wheel they sent me. So things may be slightly different on the full release, but I believe everything is in order and exactly how it's going to be, but this is a bit a pre-production wheel so a big thank you to Mazda Racing for sending out the CS wheel we're going to compare it to the RS steering wheel today so let's take a look what we got in the CS wheel Mazda Racing ecosystem definitely so glad switching to the direct drive ecosystem we're going to take a look at what we got inside for this CS wheel and first and foremost of course we do have in the box we have some stickers and some hardware for paddle um, deadening sound deadening and of course all the stickers to make the wheel custom for everything you need. So taking this wheel out of this box, as we can already see the differences in the box. We got nothing else in there, so we're gonna pull that out. We can already see very big differences with the new CS wheel. As you can see, the CS wheel, all very black, subtle, super clean, and very nice. Black Mazda Racing quick release on the back. So compared to, of course, the gold quick release sets on my RS wheel. So first looks at the two wheels, you can see there's a little bit of a difference. You have less functionality in buttons. You don't have as many as you do in the RS because in the RS, of course, you have three buttons down and two buttons on top. You do have the two buttons up top on the new CS wheel, but you don't have the three down there. And one of the biggest notable differences, you don't have a horn button on here. You have the sleek, smooth steering wheel front as you have the horn button on the RS but you also don't have the forged carbon fiber. You have aluminum faceplate. You still have the really nice shift display and everything on the top, but you have aluminum finish instead of that forged carbon fiber. You do have a very nice smooth leather feel with a little white stripe on there. So I definitely like the coloring, the white, the black, the very subtle look of it. So you do still have forged carbon fiber, mechanical shifters, but you don't have the twin shifters. You don't have the four on the back like on the RS. You know, if you guys know about the RS wheel, you have the shifters and then you have the analog style, you know, dual clutch setups on the back. So with the CS wheel, you do have the utilization of the Bluetooth technology and the quick release for the D1 spec quick release. So it snaps right into the RS wheelbase. So definitely a very cool thing. Once again, a big thank you to Mazda for sending this out to me. So. First impressions of the wheel, I definitely love the way the leather feels, the nice smooth leather texture. I love the black styling, the black smooth look of it. And you still have you still have the control knobs on menu and that, and they do push in. And then you have your textile keyboard buttons and you have them down there and you ha still have rotary knobs. So the rotary knobs are still here and they're nice click, physical click rotary knobs. They're metal dials, but they also still click in. So you still have a lot of the functionality on this wheel, but it's a little more on the budget friendly side. So they're coming out with this wheel. So if you want to get into the Mazda Racing ecosystem, it's going to be a lot, you know, less expensive if you go the route of the CS wheel instead of the RS wheels. Now, I love the RS wheel for the fact of all the buttons and the forged carbon fiber and the dual clutch setups for racing. And of course, you know, the quick traction control dials that are really easy to recognize because you can see them as a flat dial, you know, compared to just having a rotary dial that has a line. But, you know, I personally love the look of the smooth clean, you know, the Mazda logo in the center, you can see the, the bolt pattern and everything like that it is still the standard size as the RS wheel, just a little less functionality on the faceplate. Now, you do still have the display, like I said before, which is incredible because I utilize that so much and I do love the black and white coloring. I love the black Mazda quick release, the D1 spec. You still have the really great mechanical man, magnetic, you know, paddle shifters on this CS wheel. So with Mazda coming out with this new CS wheel, it's definitely a big game changer for buying into the 
Mazda racing ecosystem, you can get an R9 wheelbase, you can get this and be up there with, you know, a lot less into it than some of the other wheel companies. So like comparing these two off the rip, as you can see, they're very similar in style, but you just have less functionality on this. But if you're like me with drifting and things like that, you don't need as much functionality. You know, having all these buttons and stuff is great. You don't really need them that much. So it's definitely very slim, very sleek, very nice design. I love the coloring and of course just the, you know, the etched in Mazda Racing logo instead of, you know, the horn button stuff, which I do use my horn button when I'm drifting, when I you know, accidentally cut somebody off or something. So the new CS wheel, definitely very awesome looking and uh, definitely excited to get this thing on the base. So we're gonna get this thing on the rig, we're gonna get into a game and we're gonna take a look at this and see how easy this new CS wheel works compared to the RS wheel. So we're gonna hop over into the chassis, get this thing on the R9 base and go from there. All right, so we transitioned over to the brake and to the HyperX mic. And you see, we do have our RS steering wheel on here with the Mazda Pit app pulled up on our desktop. So we're gonna take the Mazda RS steering wheel off. And as you, one thing I noticed when testing the CS wheel, if you notice the lighting settings for my um, RS wheel, when I snap on the CS wheel, and it calibrates and turns on the lighting settings for the CS wheel stay on the pit house app. So the settings you put on this wheel versus the other wheels are specifically for the wheels. And as you can see, plugging it right in instantly worked instantly hooked up, not a single issue on that app at all. And all my buttons work. As you can see, we do have the buttons for that. These are key buttons. These do push in as well as do full rotations. These do click in as well as do full rotations as well. And we have our buttons. So the CS wheel once, make sure you update your app immediately and make sure you do update your wheelbase and everything like that. And your steering wheel, because is one thing to make sure you get it all updated and put in here. So with the wheel connected and everything, we're gonna hop into the game and we're gonna go full send. And we're gonna take this new CS steering wheel for a rip here in a set of Corsa. So we are in a set of Corsa in our RS3 drift car project that I was working on for ESDA, Mazda Racing on the side. We are not using this car in ESDA. This was a project, fun car I was messing with, possibly for ESDA. Um, just didn't get it exactly how I wanted it. So this is now a fun car. So we're gonna go full send in here. So we're gonna go full send and take this RS3 for a rip. We are on the new hot pit track for Hot Pit Auto Fest competition. We're gonna be taking it for a rip. So definitely already love the feel of the leather, the smooth leather in the hands. If you guys remember, I was wearing gloves with the RS wheel, having the texture on it, kind of after a long, you know, long sense of drifting with it sliding through my hands. My hands got a little numb, but for racing, it's amazing. Now this has a nice smooth feel to it. So we're gonna go full send. <laughs> Your hit, big e-brake flick in, kind of riding on the wall, a little wall tap, I'm off that bank, a little wobble there, no big deal, kind of missed that zone entirely, I think we almost hit the point of return on that, as you can see, the light on the CS wheel is definitely just as bright as the RS wheel, so that is definitely amazing, the rotary dials work perfectly and of course all the buttons work and everything i flashed the pass and everything going on too so everything is fully functioning it feels great just like the rs wheel does just a little more on the budget friendly side like i said in the beginning so we're gonna go another full send we're gonna try this one in first person Definitely way off the way off the bank there. Gonna reach ourselves back up there. Missed that zone. Went a little bit high on the bank there. It was not wanting to be up there. So overall, my impressions on the new CS wheel, as you guys can see, is definitely a very pretty wheel, and it's a very great wheel. So overall impressions of the wheel for the new CS wheel, it's definitely truly amazing. It feels great. You have a lot of nice grip points for if you were actually racing and stuff like that. Definitely cannot find any issues with the wheel. 
quick release and everything works seamlessly on my RS. So if you guys are looking to pick up your own Mazda racing equipment, click the link down in the description box below and I can tell you for a fact you will not be disappointed with the with an R9 and this new CS wheel. One for one full rip again here to finish this episode off. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media from the description box below. Down hard off the bank. Trying to ride that line a little better. Oh, a little bit up. Not too, too bad. So, as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at the new CS Racing Wheel from Mazda Racing. Get your RS, you know, your R9 and your CS Racing Wheel for a great ecosystem. I can tell you for over the past month, I've been using this system and I cannot tell you how amazing the system feels so make sure you follow me on all social media which found in the description box below once again a big thank you to Maz racing for sending out the new cs wheel for me to take a look and show you guys and give you guys my impressions on it in the first look we're going to be using this a lot more in the upcoming uh weeks and stuff with preparation for esda we're going to be using this for drifting and getting into competition style so make sure you follow me all down below and as always i thank you guys for coming back and watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track.